Congratulations on purchasing the IH-1500i heater. Carefully follow these instructions and you'll heat your home evenly for pennies per day for many years to come. Your eye heater is designed to be used as a supplemental heat source, not your primary source of heat. To begin, take your eye heater out of the box and place the heater on a flat level surface and make sure the air intake and air outlet are clear of obstructions. The eye heater is designed to be easily moved from room to room. Put the eye heater where you need it the most, then insert the plug into a standard 120 volt grounded outlet. The heater is not intended to run through an extension cord. Move the on off switch at the rear of the unit to the on position marked with an eye. Press the power button on the control panel to turn the heater on. The message heating up will display on the LCD panel to indicate that the heater is warming up. This may not appear right away, but be patient, your heater is indeed warming up. Next, press the room setting button to set the room size that is going to be heated. Press the temperature up down buttons to set the target room temperature. The eye heater needs to be set five degrees higher than the current room temperature. When the unit is in standby mode, you can use the auto on button to turn the unit on automatically within one to 12 hours. When the unit is on, you can use the auto off button to turn the unit off automatically in one to 12 hours. Keep in mind the eye heater is not an instant heat source. Based on the size of your room, it may take 24 hours for your room to reach your desired temperature. The heater will operate continuously to heat until the thermostat setting is reached. Once the thermostat temperature is reached, the unit will cycle on and off to maintain the desired warmth. Remember, if the eye heater is on, it's saving you money. For best results, the eye heater should remain on at all times. The IH 1500 eye heater will heat up to 1500 square feet evenly for pennies a day. Your eye heater is also great around pets and children. The buttons on the remote control function in the exact same manner as the buttons on the eye heater unit directly. The remote control is powered by a CR2025 battery. If you need to turn the eye heater off, simply press the power button. The unit will stop heating immediately and the message cooling down will display on the LCD panel. The fan motor will still operate until the heating element cools down to the factory set temperature. The heater goes into standby mode after about one minute. Then simply move the on off switch at the rear of the unit to zero the off position and disconnect the plug from the power outlet. Simple maintenance of your eye heater will increase the longevity and ensure the eye heater is working to its maximum ability. To begin care and cleaning of your eye heater, make sure the heater is off. The switch on the back of the unit should be in the off position and unplug the power cord from the wall outlet before cleaning. Carefully wipe the exterior of the heater with a soft damp cloth. Then dry the eye heater thoroughly with a soft dry cloth. Over time, dust may accumulate on the front of the vent of the heater. The dust can be removed by wiping with a damp cloth or carefully cleaning using a vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. Do not use harsh or abrasive cleaners to clean your heater. These will damage the surface. It is also very important to clean the filter every 30 days or as needed. To do this, simply lift the filter and pull it out. Once the filter is out, take it to a sink and rinse the filter out with water. Do not put the filter back in the eye heater until the filter is dry. Once the filter is dry, put it back in its place. Congratulations on purchasing the IH-1500 eye heater. Don't forget to register your eye heater warranty. This can be done by visiting us online at registermyeyeheater.com or filling out the warranty registration card that is included with your owner's manual. Please refer to the included owner's manual for further information.